I still did it. So, uh, does this mean Lolita for Twisted Man's going up against the Claude? Or a Minotaur? But that, again, gives a big ultimate for the Valentina. A Joe. So I'm thinking, like, uh, actually, like, Franco and uh, probably... Franco and Fredrin, perhaps, for the set of... Franco and Julian actually works. For Twisted Minds? For Twisted Minds, yeah. I feel like if it wasn't Troll, if it was Maro, right? That something yeah, like that, uh, Franco you're right. would pop up For here. sure. But the thing is, for Troll, it really does feel like he finds more success on these kind of initiators, like the Grok, the Kajas. That's yeah. why COPH, you know, they've done their homework. They've actually banned it out. And for Twisted Minds, I'm just looking at it. You know, the Cho does come out. So yeah. shout out to LaFell there. With the Nolan, too. They get that lockdown. They get... The physical defense shred, technically, with the new passive yep. of that Cho. But this is full aggression. Like you mentioned, man, if they don't get going at the start of the game, it'll be deja vu yeah. game number two. I, th I think it's game number one, sorry. Tigreal territory. Oh, there it is. Yep. Ah. There we go. We've I like been able to call out the uh, roaming picks for both teams. And again, Twisted Minds, I feel like this is all or nothing. And speaking of all or nothing, we're throwing it over to the Cassis. You guys think this is going to work? I'll be honest with you, I don't know what All or Nothing has to do with it working. <laughs> but good call on the roamers, good call on setting up what each lineup wants to do. Again, Twisted Minds, and they're not going to lay down and take it. Here we go, game number two in a best of two. This is the group stage of MSC 2024 at EWC. You need to make every game count. Yeah, I, I think th this game in particular, if Twisted Minds can take it away, that would be a big statement in and of itself. And honestly, it's been a, it's been a while. Walk me through this because you've been casting FBLPH for a while. When's the last time we've seen Carl TZ on an assassin like Ling? All right, looking back at uh, the uh, history of Carl TZ, which I, I'd like to think I am uh, an expert on. Of course, uh, he I am is the GOAT, big, actually. Carl TZ fan. Uh, I believe he's the best in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd say on average, one in 20 games of Carl TZ in the past year were assassin games. Dude, so uh, those are low odds, man. Very low so odds. So this is once in a blue moon. Yeah. Literally. It, it, honestly, I think I think it would have made my day if he was playing Lancelot. I think that's the one thing that I missed for a very long time, you know? What truly made him to be the GOAT in the first place. That's that's literally him. That is him. He's got a skin designed around it as well, which uh -huh. he never uses on stream. <laughs> he actually refuses to. <laughs> it seems to be by principle. Looking at the early game again, Sanji here. Just uh, pushing, cuffing back. Hold oh, no. up! Very good movement. Very good movement from Sanji from TLPH. But he did have to use that purify to ensure that at least when the rifts collide, they don't get the initial slow. But hold up! Once again, trying to make sure that he is uh, determining where his domain actually is. Carl Tizi could try to go for this one v one, but he's trying to bait out spells from Hoda to waste the energy as much as possible, exhaust the man. Yep. Looking at uh, the uh, early gold lead that Liquid Echo has that allows for an early sword to be built by Carl TZ. Uh, maybe an item ahead for the XP laners uh, from Liquid Echo. And so far, Turtle, I'd say, you have a small advantage for uh, TLPH. Uh, small, but at the same time, oh, look at the bot side of the map. This might just be first blood here. It's Carl TZ, a bit of QT going for a clean dive. Gets the knockup as well. Ooh. Carl TZ, he's still got it. Mind you, got has it. the war cry, so he definitely needs to get those swords up in. And then finally, the basic attack final slash starting it up. Oh, they're pushing back, but Sanji makes the opportunity into a bigger play here with the final slash stolen away onto the twisted minds of Sanji. He should be going down, but he still is able to walk out. Sanji is trying to get it closer to him. Sanford is the one who finds it. And Cuffin steals away the turtle. And now they start backing away, and hopefully, Cuffin can actually make it through. Sanji, he can still get damage down, but not enough cooldowns just yet. Troll is going to go for the kick. Doesn't get him underneath tower range just yet. JP gets to walk for free. I mean, if it was any other target from Liquid Echo, that kick would have been amazing on Troll. But the passive on Tigreal allows for early game physical damage to mean nothing. Mm -hmm. He is one thick boy, as we like to call it. Six Cs. Six Cs. That's the perfect way to describe it. But let's look at this replay one more time. All right. So, again, it was... Ugh. It was the Twisted Minds first of the scene, mm -hmm. and then the CC chain was just much better for Liquid Echo, but that did not stop Coffin because again he was underwater. He was mm. he was immune to all of this. Mm -hmm. That's why he was able to burst down the turtle despite everything happening. But that doesn't stop the team fight from actually being executed, oh. right? Oh, oh the kick. kick! No, 
we can't watch it. Oh, Sanji still has his purify. He gets just, on out of there. He literally just pressed it and then went for the recall. That's one finger within a second's width. Go in. Re purify recall he's still there he's still there he's still there he's making sure that his presence is not wait they're gonna spot wait sanji can spot oh, no. he, hold on do they know troll spots him out instantaneously he gets on out of there transforms into roger that's how confident he is i stole the wrong alt but i gotta use it at some point right fair, he knows that there's no kick uh -huh. he just got kicked <laughs> So, this is so funny because one of Valentina's IMU, IMUs, it's great when you have a metamorph ability or a transformative ability because yep. then you get everything else in the kit. For the remainder, yes. Another kick by Troll! It looks to be good, but JP, he tried to slow them down, but still, Hoda finds one. Carl TZ is able to trade one back in Troll. That's going to be Sanji for Troll, and it looks like Twisted Minds, they hit up. That's Liquid Echo Sanji, by the way. Sanji from Twisted Minds still up top. Going 1v1 against Sanford, who, by the way, he's very close to EXP with. So at least, at least Sanji from Twisted Minds can know that, hey, when it comes down to it, I can be as chunky or as good on the CC and the initiations as I need to be. Now the bottom, Benny's in trouble! Oh, it looks like he's just going to get run down here. Oh, and Hoda just waiting by the BMI as well. Sanji unable to do much as Troll slows him down on that rotation here. So far, so good, but the next turtle does fall into the hands of Carl TZ. Very reminiscent of game number one, despite Liquid Echo playing a very different lineup and a very different play style. Oh, it's very similar to oh. game number one underneath tier one down bottom. Sano gets to taste Carl Teasy's blade. Mm, greedy, greedy. He greeted out for the wave. You got to be careful. If you are low, you do not want to be exposing yourself because you just you are, you're just asking to die to Carl on this Ling. Lings are dangerous for that for this one reason. But now we see the rotations from both Sanji and JP. Troll, he spots this out. Uh, but there's no follow through. Troll is but a key with no hole to put in. Uh, there's no doors to open up there, but up top, final mm -hmm. smash on the one. Why do we pull away? Mm -hmm. They want to force the alt out of Sanford as quickly as possible because they still have the kick and they do find it. A clean dive for the side of Twisted Minds. They should be trading tier ones on the opposite ends of the map. Ordy, I don't know what the play was for Liquid Echo there. I don't think they made much space, save maybe for bottom. They got the bottom push. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much what it was, right? Twist the Minds, they spot, Troll spotted out the initial rotation, and they're like, okay, hands off, we're going to the top side of the map to make a play. They got the dive successful, and look, the worst part about it is that the tier one is still available for Liquid Echo and on the top side of the map. I guess that was worth it for the flicker and for the life of Sanford. Mm -hmm. And Liquid Echo still did eventually get the turret down bottom. Now in mid. Oh, they're threatening it. Throw with the kick. The kick is so good. Sanji walks away. A very weird looking interaction. But now with the implosion as well. Betty QT just sitting on the edge. The BMI as well. Hoda finds one. Looking for another opportunity. He has the purple buff. So he can make the play. But it looks like he will get on out of there. Not enough. Sanji actually finds the final slash off to three targets. Allowing him to get back in. But Carl said that's what I've been waiting for take some all out the cleanup is a good and Sanji still from Twisted Minds evens it up well done as bloody as that was despite there being a lot of casualties from Liquid Echo you could not ask for a better outcome Carl Thiesi is full on core once more check out the replay Man, this is bringing back memories. Mm -hmm. It feels like it's 2019 all over again. Oh, don't remind me about 2019 all over again. That was a good time. Ah, he's still... I, I love seeing Carl on these assassins, man. It's only once in the blue moon do you ever see him actually perform. And he's currently deathless after securing that final turtle. Seven and a half minutes in, they are looking at a 3,000 gold lead, which, by the way, doesn't look like much. But in a bloody exchange, oh. look at this. Carl DC is unstoppable. I mean, he can finish into there. Oh, he oh, spots no. out oh, no. troll. Sandwiched. Oh, uh -huh, All right. no. It's fine. All right, he lands. What I was saying is, with a kill score at like 7 to 10, and the turrets being as close as they are, this is the best thing you can expect, especially from two lineups that both have assassins. Which is weird, because we haven't seen this as much in recent years. Mm -hmm. We usually see large 
exchanges it now. Wait, Troll gets the oh. kick one more time. He's trying to make this actually happen. I mean, everybody's trying to make the play, and finally, Saji from Twisted Minds pulls two under, but it's too late. Troll is already dead, and now the mid tier one is going down as we see Call to Easy splitting on the opposite side. One v one in Hoda, but look at the damage that Liquid Echo is applying to the Twisted Minds' map. Mid tier one, now mid tier two as well should be falling, and JP just saving the HP of the minions as he's going for the recall. That's a triple kill for the Lone Stallion. Impressive work once more from Sanji, who, by the way, has been ego checking Twisted Mind since minute one. Yeah, he's really been flexing. Whenever he has that Purify, he is hyper confident in making that play. Oh, here we go. Gets kicked this time. Still unable to get out of there. He got confident without the Purify and gets punished. There you go. It was bound to happen. Again, Sanji is not superhuman, although sometimes it does look quite damn close. He is not. He's still playing with a rather soft mage in mid that's doing wonders for Liquid Echo, but he still has to respect the boundaries. Because again, Twisted Minds, much respect to them, they never let up. Again, Troll is averaging what now? Maybe one and a half kicks per minute? Mm -hmm. he, he always finds a target. Yeah, he's, he's oh, honestly, he's been very accurate with it as well, right? He's kicking them in the right direction, optimal positions as well. But truly, it comes down to just one battle spell. <laughs> Usually, yeah. And now it's about to come off of Sanji's cooldown since he respawned. You know, he's back to the scene. It's river control for Liquid Echo right now as they start up this Lord. Many Cutie just bashing away at this major objective. About 10 minutes into game number two. Purple secured by Carl TZ. And now Troll looking for another. Mm, forces the Shun Pole. Gets the initial kick. Hey, this is not looking good. They're trying to change CCJP down, but it's honestly not even close. He tanks the damage and Carl TZ goes in straight into the back line. Oh, the implosion fights one. They got Hoda. And now the rest of them will start to fall. It's not even remotely close. And in a snap of a finger, a blink of an eye, four fall for Twisted Minds. And this is where the cavalry smell blood on the battlefield. Look at that. There's a wave in mid with the Lord, an enhanced wave down bottom, another up top. Call it easy, deathless. I bet he missed this. Yeah. I bet he missed this. He's like, this is like the good old days. And Sanji, he's just standing there menacingly, finds the opportunity, comes and tries, but honestly, the rough waves ain't gonna connect on anybody. Final Slash already coming out as well. And now that's Galt Easy just with auto attacking Troll. And that's just the end of the game. That's it. That's all in a road. It was, <laughs> what? This is what they call in the streets a liquid stampede. Under 11 minutes, liquid echo. Finish the game and sweep.